Well, let's talk now to John Williams from the Department of Sociology at the UK's Leicester University. He's written extensively about football fan violence and policing of big sporting events. Uh, welcome to the programme. Well, it's back. Hooliganism. What did you think as you saw those scenes over the last few days? Oh, well, it's never really gone away. Not completely. But yes, it feels like... 20 or 30 years ago, doesn't it? I don't think we're quite back there. I think the Premier League have done a pretty good job at managing the hooliganism problem. Maybe we got a little complacent. Maybe we didn't send the right kinds of messages out to, to England fans. I didn't hear very much of, of what uh, Wayne Rooney has just said about fans without tickets not travelling. It felt sometimes like it was an open invitation. It's the south of France. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday night. It couldn't be a worse confluence of, of factors here, I think. So I think you we really need to look at how this was planned and how it was managed. Do you think, in some senses, UEFA have taken their eye off this particular ball? Yeah, I do. I do. And I think the French police have too. Of course, there's been that overwhelming and overriding concern about terrorism. But the, the scheduling of, of the tournament, we, we really needed to look harder at that, to play a, a, a really high-risk fixture like this in a high-risk location like Marseille, and to schedule it England's first match at 9 o'clock on a, on, a, on a Saturday night, local time. It, it, it is really avoiding some of, the, some of the big questions and difficulties of what we know when, when small numbers of people, and we are talking relatively small numbers of people from these countries, get together for the English after a, a, a long day drinking. We've talked in the past a lot about English football fans and, and the days of uh, street violence was reprehensible. But uh, t tell me more about your analysis of, of what we saw from, from Russian fans. Yeah, well, we know that, that over the last decade or so, the epicentre for hooliganism has, has, has moved to the east as the, as the English and other countries in, in Western Europe have begun to manage their problem. Some of those political and social developments in, in the east, in Ukraine, in Poland, in, in Russia, those have really fed in and fueled uh, right-wing hooligan ultra groups. And uh, what we hadn't seen is, is those groups following Russia into these major tournaments. We've seen the, maybe the start of that here now. And that is clearly going to be a, a worry and a problem, a concern about Russia hosting the World Cup in 2018. Yes, that lies ahead and those concerns lie ahead. Back to this tournament, uh, we talk about uh, alcohol bans. Those have been suggested changing perhaps police tactics. Is any of that likely to work briefly? Because we're almost out of time. Well, I think changing police tactics must be, must be given a chance. At the moment, we move from zero policing, from no intervention to riot policing, and that is clearly accentuating the problem rather than dealing with it. Well, John Williams, uh, thank you very much for being here on the programme with us. Uh...